You see, Allah's promise is true. Ya ayyuhannasu inna wa'dallahi haqqun. O people, Allah's promise to you is absolutely true. Wa man asdaqu minallahi haditha. Wa man asdaqu minallahi qila. Who can there be more truthful than Allah? Regarding his speech, regarding what he has said, regarding his promise. Kana ala rabbika wa'dam. When Allah promises us Jannah and paradise and goodness, He says, this is a promise that you can ask Allah about. You can hold Him responsible to the promise He's made. Allah said, whoever seeks forgiveness, I will forgive them. If you have sought forgiveness and you go on the day of judgment, you can ask Allah, oh Allah, I sought forgiveness, my forgiveness. You won't even need to ask Allah. Do you know why? It will definitely be that your sin is wiped out. Don't lose hope. Don't let shaitan trap you to make you believe otherwise. Don't you have hope in the mercy of Allah? Keep trying. When you falter, don't lose hope. Shaitan makes you lose hope. Seek forgiveness again and again and again. Subhanallah. But when Allah promises you, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, you need to make sure that you believe that promise of Allah. Allah is the most merciful. From this day, we should change the way we look at things. We need to look at things positively. Not everything is negative. Yes, if you have a tough situation at home, you should do something about it in a good way. But don't become despondent. Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah knows He's going to give you. And that's why one of my favorite verses in the Quran is in Surah Al-Duha. Allah says, Very soon your Rabb, your Lord, shall give you so much until you become satisfied. That will be in the dunya and the akhirah or just in the akhirah, just in the hereafter. So what? I know I'm going to get it from Allah.